Welcome to It's Time to Go, and it's a special, special episode because it is Reformation Sunday. Yeah, pretty exciting. This is the Sunday where we all get to worship Martin Luther as our God. Yes. We get to wear all the red. It's such a rare thing that we get to wear red vestments. Are you going to do this the entire time? All right, seriously. Yeah, wow. Um, so Reformation, Reformation Sunday. Uh, so excited about Martin Luther. I can't even remember what's the text about. Uh, something about like a guy named Moses or no Moses. Joshua. Joshua. Yes, Joshua. that's right. Joshua. The people have finally reached the promised land, and so we get this reading from Joshua about how uh, how they have come so far and how really God has brought them so far. In fact, the the scripture is filled with really active language of God's actions. A lot of verbs about how God has brought them to this point, how God has taken them from Egypt and brought them to the promised land and done so by sending them Moses and um, and words about Isaac and uh, and Abraham uh, as well. So just all the great heroes of faith and how God has moved through the lives of the people for so long. Yeah, it's really a summation of the whole story of the people of God and this whole section we've been talking about, about transition and change, and now they've finally made it to the promised land. Uh, but they don't rest on their laurels here, the Israelites. They are actually called at this point to start living into the promises God has made for them. Uh, God has carried them through grace time and time again, all the way from Abraham through Moses, and now Joshua is ushering them into the promised land. And the first thing they say is, who are we to get in the way of what God is doing? Now we get to live into the story of God's grace and love lived out in this world. Which I think is what makes it such a perfect scripture for Confirmation Sunday here at Vinji as uh, our 10th grade youth come before us and make these promises, responding to the faithfulness that God has shown them, uh, promising not to forsake the Lord, promising to live into that future as well, um, into that baptismal uh, covenant that God made with them so long ago. And a good reminder for all of us uh, who are not being confirmed as well that we have a lot to do in this world that uh, no matter the changes and the transition, no matter what is before us, that God is with us and God has brought us to this point and will get us uh, through till the end of the, the changing transitions as well, uh, until that time when we arrive at that promised land in our journeys. So, again, this is not Worship Martin Luther Sunday. Yeah, you know, probably no one except you and I needed to be told that. And it's not Wear Red Sunday. Yeah, again, we might be the only two. All right. Well, I think that's a good message for us to end on, so I guess it's time to go. It is time to go. Have a great week.